Well, hello, everyone. I'm here having a kind of a lazy day. I'm sorry, I'm trying to keep it together. Because to me, this is just absolutely positively hilarious. I mean, I am now been banned on every foreign network except the BBC. And that's only because they probably don't look at their comments ever. Uh, yes, you know, uh, I do have to say that many times I have a very low opinion of my fellow Americans. But since I, these last three weeks, I've been doing one of my personal trolls. And I've just been going out and finding opinions. And when someone has it wrong, you know, an actual fact. I've been going back into bunking it. And, I mean, they get some crazy-ass facts. You know, I keep hearing one that England stole $45 trillion from India. Which, I mean, they don't have that much money. They never had that much money. Ipso facto, there's no way that that was stolen from them. You know, we're not going to get an actual breakdown into all of this stuff, but, you know, silly things like that. And, I mean, when they get these insane fantasies, they don't want anyone changing their narrative. Now, you know, I I'm laughing hard again because, once again, you know, I mentioned that I had a low opinion of my fellow Americans my God, I feel so much better about my fellow Americans now. I really do, because, I mean, the amount of death of dumb that I have seen in the last three weeks. You see, Shannon has it in her head. I'm refreshing looking for her. Now, for the last three weeks, I have had everyone in Southeast Asia arguing with me. I mean, on my list to comments back, it is impressive. And it always, inevitably, I get banned from the channel. And I mean, these are major na news networks that normally don't notice these things. But, you know, apparently the Asian feel-feels are a lot more sensitive than American feel-feels. So, you know, uh, people might say our kids aren't the toughest, but they're a whole lot tougher than these Asian snowflakes I've seen. I'm now calling them the global snowflake because i got banned in germany today too oh man and once again you know all these people in their extra sensitive feel feels it's not just asia most of europe has banned me too like i say you know england just because they're not even us i mean they don't even do their job any other day so you know it's not like they're going to notice you know, the BBC, unless they're on fire, they're, they're really not going to notice anything. But yes, I have been banned internationally for hurting feel feels. And I know we don't have any official committee, but, you know, I think that, like, I deserve, like, a little ribbon for my chest. You know, like a Boyt Award ribbon. Yes, I do. Now, like I say, I mean, some of these conversations have been absolutely hilarious. And once again, you know, I took so much fun in shooting them down at every chance because none of their arguments were ever thought, th thought about. It was just their anger and their feel-feels. But, you know, on the serious side, my friends, you know, uh, there is some severe... America hate in India and throughout the rest of the world, apparently. You know, I've even seen the Dutch screaming destroy America, but you know, I'm sure these are very few and very communistic and very young. But see, this is the issue is this crop that has grown up since the year 2000. They don't know basic facts about anything. They've got their propaganda narratives 
that are fed to them and they run with it. Now, I'm going to have some lives about this in the future, but you know, they'll be titled or you'll know that's the kind of shit we're going to talk about. Now, everyone, please put your comments below and I will be live here later to talk about Rich Life. And I've got the device charging over there. Now, everyone, have a good day.